I did not see the fear back in them days, you know. I didn't fear none of that stuff at the time it was going on, and we went through uh, lots of things. You had to laugh when you didn't want to, you know, and deal with people that you didn't want to. You know, like, for instance, there lots of places we had to go and leave didn't even work, you know, because they didn't want to let black folks in there. Ethel recalls an incident where a male wrestler had to intervene when a police officer pulled a gun on her sister Babs. He came out and made him take the gun off of Babs, you know, because he got mad. You know, Babs wrestled in the way he didn't like her because <laughs> they he made her him take that gun off of her. But he was going to try to make her do what he wanted her to do. We had segregated um, dressing rooms and when we first started out, and we had uh, restrooms where, you know, you drive along the highway and you have to eat. This is in the United States of America. You had to go into the kitchens, uh, go in the back door in the kitchen and get your food, or the guys would have to bring your food out to you because you weren't allowed to go into the restaurants. I didn't have any idea um, the impact that they would have or the impact that they were having until I got older. You know, and once I got older, she began to share more stories with me about um, situations about racism and discrimination and how they got chased out of towns and, you know, and things of that nature. So at that point, it was just like, wow, you know, are you serious? And she was like, yeah, the Klan and, you know, and then you, you know, today we think that was like so, so long ago. But if you actually look at the footage of Martin Luther King and all that, you find out it really was not that long ago.